Hello and welcome to AVX Fly Tie. My name is Håkan and today we will be tying a sort of classic streamer, a woolly bugger. But it's not the classic way to do it. I mean, a woolly bugger you can tie in many ways and we will do something different today. I will be using the AVX 118 NS 118, which is sort of a traditional streamer hook. And I'm using a, a copper bead. I think this is four millimeters, just to, to weigh it down a bit. And we set the thread and start with the tail. And I'm using marabou, of course. This is a brown olive marabou, which is a nice color for... If you're fishing in water, they're not crystal clear. This is the perfect color for for the woolly bugger. So I tie in a bundle of marabou fibers and I tie it down along the shank. I want to add a bit of flesh on the fly, so I'm using a Mirage Crystal Flesh. I'm just taking one strand and use it for both sides of the tail. So I tie it in on my side and then I just fold it over and tie it in on the other side and cut it off as long as the tail. The main part of the body is made of chenille brown. So I tie it on the shank. and cover most of the hook shank. The front part of the fly, I will use this shiny sparkling dubbing, making it uh, both thorax and sort of soft tackle. So I start by doing a loop with a thread and just take some of the dubbing and I need a dubbing twister. Put the dubbing between the threads and just spin the twister. Now we just cover the rest, well, almost the rest of the shank. Now, I don't think we need more. Just cut it off. And then I take a piece of Velcro and just brush it up to separate the dubbing fibers like this. And for front hackle, I will be using partridge. This is a dyed uh, golden olive or golden brown partridge. You can of course use soft hackle, grizzly or something similar. But I like the, the distinct coloration of the, the partridge hackle. So I, I, I pick the, the feathers very further back on the on the back of the, the, the bird. Closer to the tail you can find bigger feathers with longer fibers. So I take two of these feathers and start with the first one just in front, front of the thorax. Tie it in by the tip and make two or three turns. And tie in. And now we want to add a bit more movement. So I'm taking rubber legs. These are brown with olive bars. We tie in a smaller piece on each side. Secure with one or two turns. 
and do the same on the other side. Just pull them back slightly. And then we take another partridge hacko. Tie it in by the tip. And make a couple of turns just behind the copper bead and tie it. And then we just make a whip finish. And there is, there you have the brownish polybugger.